Mixing glitter into gel requires just the right amount to get just the right consistency. You put too much, it's like sand. You put too little, it's like pepper. What's the right amount? We're gonna show you how to get that perfect consistency every single time. So your glitter mixes with gel look incredible. Right now, on Nail School. All right, bro, mixing glitters into gel. How do we do this? You wanna use a nice filler gel that's self-leveling, uh, transparent. Preferably. <clears throat> that way when you mix your gels inside, you're gonna get true glitter color. I like to use flex, so you can see from here how it moves real fast. It's a great gel to mix glitters with. And then what you need is a smooth tile and a mixing spatula. Um, you can get a mixing spatula at basically any craft store, uh, probably amazon.com. <laughs> it's a painting knife for art. So what we want to be able to do is scoop out a nice amount of gel onto our mixing spatula, okay? And then what I'm going to do is put it directly onto the tile, just like this, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and get a couple scoops, okay? I'm just going to mix up a nice healthy amount, okay? I'm going to show you how to mix uh, a nice amount here. I have a separate tile that uh, I have the same amount, and I'm going to show you basically what's good and what's not good. Okay? So, what we want to be able to do is take <clears throat> something like fuchsia that's quite bright, um, and, and again, it doesn't matter what glitters you're working with, you have to have the right amount. So, what you're going to notice is I'm going to take this glitter and I am going to cover the whole entire surface. I'm just gonna lightly tap the jar so that I get full coverage over all of the glitter, okay? As you can see. Now, what I wanna do with the next color is pretty much do about half, right? So with my second color, I'm basically going to shake it over the other half just like this, okay? And then what I'm going to do with the third glitter, which is going to give us the bling, all right? I'm going to shake that over the opposite half. So I have even parts, okay? Now, this is what you're gonna notice. What I wanna do when I'm working with my mixing tile, okay? is I don't want to just start like going crazy. I actually want to like kind of push the glitter into the surface of the gel first, right? So it doesn't go all over the place. Just kind of compress it in. Then I'm going to start pushing it into the center, as you can see, just like this. And now, as you can see, I'm able to mix it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep kind of pushing it in, it's almost like I'm spreading jam on my toast, right, just like this. I'm not gonna go like this. <laughs> I'm not gonna mix it by pressing it. What I wanna do is I wanna use the spatula and kind of push it out. And, and the reason why we wanna be able to use a spatula is because if you get it really nice and flat, it's going to prevent bubbles from getting inside your gel, okay? So once we actually have it spread out, you can see how rich the glitter is. Okay. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the edge of my spatula and I'm just gonna scrape it all up, just like this. And as you can see, I'm gonna have this beautiful consistency. Look at this. I'm gonna have this really beautiful consistency that kind of moves. See that? So whatever dollop you put, whatever size it is. Correct. Rule of thumb is cover with the first. Yes. So basically you want to have two coats just covering the surface. Correct. And then you can use however many glivers to accomplish that. Yes. That's exactly correct. So uh, just like you said, like you don't want to do this. I just want to show you what not to do. So this is not, this is not correct. It's sparse. 
<laughs> so what I mean by sparse is not enough, right? It's gonna look like someone basically put dirt in your gel or someone put pepper in your gel. Um, and this is also not correct. As you can see, I put enough glitter in there to cover the earth. <laughs> and what ends up happening is if you over apply it like I'm doing right now, oops, <laughs> look at this. I mean, this is a pile of glitter. I have just over piled the glitter. Watch what ends up happening. No matter how much I'm trying to work this mound of brilliance into the gel, it, it, it just, all we have is like this sand cake. <laughs> Look at this. Super nasty, it, it, it's just too much glitter and when you mix in this much glitter, even with transparent glitters, it ends up becoming sandy. Where this one is like barely moving and you can see on this side, like the glitter is basically falling off. This one's actually slowed down. The consistency is really nice. And, and you'll notice too, even with this one, right? Watch this. If I spread it really thin, if I spread it really, really thin, I'm gonna to try to get it as thin as I possibly can on the tile. Look at the opacity. It's still so rich that if I was to build that on the nail, as you can see, I'm gonna have great coverage. This is beautiful for doing fades. This is awesome for sculpting. This is totally wicked for doing free edge work, backgrounds. Just take a look how easy it is for me to pick this up, right? And then if I set this down, right, you can see how easy it is for me to move. You can see how easy it is for me to, to move the gel, right? I have full control of the product all the way through. And you can see the, again, the coverage, how well it actually covers the nail. I'm not gonna build anything. I just wanna show everybody how awesome the coverage is. Look at that. And that's gonna cure really, really well. If you have this mound of sand cake <laughs> and you wanna fix it, then the easiest thing to do is just add more gel to it. And let me show you what I'm gonna do. If I take healthy amount again, right, of gel, and I add it, as you can see, to the surface, just like this, okay? Watch what happens as I start to work it into, uh, it actually, now I'm having a really nice kind of self-leveling texture and it's quite opaque. Let me go ahead and just kind of scoop everything up and push everything out. And, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just use, as you can see, I'm, I'm pushing down and out, down and out to mix it really, really well. I'm not, I'm not doing this. I'm moving it nice and easy, just like I'm putting butter on toast, as you can see. And then as you can see, I have this really beautiful, right, gel-like consistency, self-leveling consistency. So if I scoop everything up and I put it into a nice pile, if I push it all to the center, as you can see, take a look at the consistency that I have now. Look at that, right? Beautiful. So once you're done mixing your gels, you're going to have the perfect mix to use in your arsenal. And what you want is a nice opaque jar, not clear. So watch what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scoop it up into my jar. I'm gonna get, get this glitter mix as well. As you can see, all right? I have this beautiful mix. I have this beautiful mix that I'm going to save for future nail services. Mixing glitters with gel is another 
really important tool that you can add to your arsenal that's going to give you the opportunity to make more money in the salon.